Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah Bahasham Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful to let Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work as Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has created us to do, so he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father seed line goes back to you being a so called black, Hispanic, and Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. And Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver account coming back once again. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shah, with another video. And this video is going to be inspired by the Elder Apostle Gabar, you know, because he's going into, uh, you know, correcting the buck on this little celebration of glorifying himself that he had whenever. And in the video, Apostle Gabar keeps repeating, Our honor is going to come once we're up on the chariots. Our honor is going to come once we're up on the chariots. When, once Yahweh Shah puts those crowns upon us, then will we get our honor and our glory. You see, and I was waiting for him to go into it because I uh, went through the whole video waiting for him to go into it, but he never brought it out. So, you know, the spirit had to put me to, to, to go into that point to prove that. That's when the honor and glory, you know, is going to come. That's when we're going to get our, you know, our reward. You see, our, our, our payment for laboring for the Lord. You see, that's when we're going to be uh, patted on the back by the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and told, uh, good job for staying 10 toes down for me. You see, it ain't going to come on this side, man. That's not what that's not what we're supposed to be seeking right now. We're supposed to be doing what? We're as Israelite <clears throat> as Israelite men in the truth, we are here to glorify and exalt the heavenly Father Yahweh and his only begotten son Yahweh Shah. That's what it's all about. We don't make this about ourselves because it's not about us. You see, the most high will receive his glory first. Then Yahweh Shah, and we would get all his lives, man. And that's how it's supposed to be. You see? So I just wanted to go into that real quick. Let's get it. So we're going to start here in 2nd Edges 2, verse 33. It says what? I, Ezra, received a charge of the Lord upon the Mount Oreb, that I should go unto Israel. But when I came unto them, they set me at night. And despised the commandment of the Lord. And that's, a, and that's what we're seeing a lot of uh, cats doing. In these final seconds, man. Even men who are calling themselves Hebrew Israelites. Even men who are teaching. They're being disobedient, man. They're being out of order. They're showing a lack of fear for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Because the true men of the Lord are coming unto you. Telling you how you should walk. What you should be doing. What it's about and what it's not about. But they are despising what? The wisdom, not the understanding that's been given unto them from the Most High through his, through his men. You see? Or let me say from Yahweh Shah through his men. They are here moving like the two-thirds, man. Verse 34 says what? And therefore I say unto you, O ye heathen, that hear and understand. Talking about who? The remnant. Those who are going to hear and understand and know or be built up in the proper understanding of what this is all about. Understanding and knowing that this is not about us putting on the show or us being sitting inside of men <clears throat> or chasing clout or whatever it may be, man. You see? So it says what? That hear and understand, look for your shepherd. He shall give you everlasting rest. You hear that? That's what the remnant of the nation of Israel is doing, man. We're seeking for our shepherd, man. We're looking for Yahweh Shah to return. You see? We're looking for Yahweh Shah to come and take this damn devil down. And then we'll be able to live, man. And then we will be able to uh, uh, receive our glory. You see? And that adoration that we, we all want it. We all want to be glorified and exalted and, and, and praised. But you have to under know. You have to under know. <laughs> You have to understand that this is not the time for us to be doing that, man. It's not for us to get our glory first before Yahweh Shah even get his. Like the Apostle Gabal, he made a good point. 
Yahweh Shah suffered all those things that he suffered 2,000 years ago, and he still hasn't been magnified and glorified in the earth. You see, he still hasn't received his, his glory in the earth, but you're trying to jump ahead of him as if you're some, some, some type of great being, man. As if you're someone to be praised. You're not, you, you're no one to be praised, man. You are a tool the most I is using to push forth his word. How the hell are you going to jump in, in, in front of you? How a shot to receive your glory before he does, man? You see? That's not how it works. So the remnant, the true believers, man, we waiting on you, how a shot. And guess what? We eat a, we, 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 we kill our ego. You see? We put away that that, that, that that wicked pride. We suck it up and we do the job Yahweh Shai has commanded us to do. And that's to go preach the word, man. Now, now all this extracurricular shit that you, uh, you other guys are doing. Because we know that when, when, when the Lord Yahweh Shai returns, we're going to receive glory, you see, beyond all belief, man. A glory that we can't even comprehend right now. That's what we're going to be bought into. You guys are fighting for glory. That's going to be... Uh, destroyed and, and, and cast into the fire, man. But it's coming, it, it's being made known. But a, a lot of you dudes don't believe America's gonna be destroyed, and that's why you're moving the way you're moving. So, second Edges 2 and 34 says, What? And therefore, I say unto you, O ye heathen, which is talking about the Israelite foreigners, that's us, that hear and understand, you see, that have the Holy Spirit to hear and understand. You see, what's being said by the men of the Lord, look for your shepherd. He shall give you everlasting rest. Talking about what? Bring us into that rest the most I has promised unto us, man. For he is not at hand that shall come in the end of the world. If the prophet Ezra is saying Yahweh was not all the way back then, how much more now in the final seconds of Esau's kingdom, man? Yahweh is right around the corner. All we need is a few more prophecies to pop off and it's over. You see? He's right around the corner, man. Our glory is right around the corner. We just have to wait, man. We have to continue to stay in order. You see? And follow the protocol. Verse 35 says what? Be ready to the reward of the kingdom. For the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. You see that? And that's what we're getting ourselves prepared for. Casting off the old man, becoming a new creature in Yahweh Shah. Chipping away that old man day by day, man. Getting better. You see, and a part of chipping away that old man is what? Getting rid of that ego, which we all have. You see, but we do it for what? We, 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 get, we get rid of that ego for what? For the betterment of the body, man. You see? We get rid of that ego so, the, so, ego so the team can flow better. We put ourselves on the back burner, man, because it's not about us. <laughs> you see? You think we don't want to ball out of control? You think we don't want to, we don't want to be uh, worshipped and praised? That, that's all going to come when the Lord Yahweh Shah returns. But you have to be in order to know and understand that you can't jump before the Lord. <laughs> you see? You can't jump in front of Yahweh Shah. He got to get his first, man. And he deserves it. So I say what? Be ready for the reward of the kingdom, man. For the everla for everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. Hey, that goes into what? Us being glorified. Us being brought into that, to that, uh, uh, to, into that final righteous form, man. New bodies. Lost as the commandments in us. Up under the second covenant. You see, that's when that glory is going to come, man. That everything that, that, that we've been looking for is finally going to come once Yahweh Shah returns. You see? Verse 36 says what? Flee the shadow of this world. And how do you do that? You do that by taking shelter with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And as you take shelter with the Most High and His only begotten Son, what do you do? You renew your mind by the word, man. You see? Get into this word and be cultivated by the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. And stand, and stand firmly rooted in it, man. It says what? Receive the joyfulness of your glory. You see, receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Savior openly. 
That's what's going to happen is if we endure to the end, man. We're going to be born into a state of glory, man. You see? Great glory is coming to those who wait on the Lord, man. But if you're trying to get it beforehand, ain't no glory coming to you, man. You see? Because you loved your life on this side, you, you didn't want to lose it. And we know what Yahweh Shah says about that, man. You see? Verse 37 says what? Oh, receive the gift that is given you, and be glad, giving thanks unto him that have led you to the heavenly kingdom. You see that? And what's that gift that we receive, man? The Holy Spirit, the faith to believe in Yahweh Shah. You see? The spirit to, to, to endure all things and overcome through our faith in Yahweh Shah. And by us doing that through the spirit of Yahweh Shah, we're going to enter into that glory, into that heavenly kingdom, man. Well, we're going to be on top forevermore. Not some temporary shit on this side, man. It don't matter on this side. Don't Didn't the Apostle Peter tell us that the elements shall be metal with fervent heat? You see? Nothing matters on this side itself for doing the work of the Lord, man. This is all that matters. And like I said, we're not doing it for vainglory, for uh, clout chasing, man. We could give two fucks about that. Because we know at the end of the day, it's temporary. We want, we want that everlasting glory in the kingdom, man. That's when it's really going to matter. It don't matter on this side, bro. It, do, it, 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 it doesn't matter, man. Verse 38 says what? Arise up and stand. Behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord, which are departed from the shadow of the world and have received glorious garments of the Lord. And that's talking about what? The 144,000 in that great multitude. And that's what we're trying to be a part of, man. We're trying to be a part of that sect of Israelites that's going to be beamed up into the chariots. You see? That's what we're trying to be a part of. That's the glory we're trying to enter into. Not some carnal shit on this side, man. To, 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 to stroke your ego, man. To make you feel good. You see? It says what? Which are departed from the shadow of the world. And that means what? You, you departed from clout chasing, man. That's what niggas in the world do. You see? Worried about likes and views and all that BS, man. Want to be seen in the sight of men. You see? That's what dudes in the world do. We're not, we're not here to do that, man. Our job is to be vessels of glorification for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's what we are. That's what we were created for, man. You see, so we have to depart from that shit we learn in the world, you see. Departing from the shadow of this world, leaving off from all the wickedness we was doing in this world, and receive those glorious garments of the Lord. And you can only do that by standing ten toes down, man. By enduring it to the end. You see, knowing and understanding that, that this is not about you. But it's all about the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, man. And if you get that into your spirit, man, things will be a whole lot easier. Knowing and understanding that a, a reward is going to come. You see? <laughs> we can receive true glory once the Lord returns, man. Verse 40 says what? Take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are white, that are clothed in white, and which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. You see? We're trying to be a part of this number, man. Those saints who were beamed up, who were changed, you see? Who made it out through faith in Yahweh Shah. This is where the real glory lies right here, man. This is this is the real honor right here, what we're reading about. You see, verse 41 says what? The number of thy children, whom thou longest for, is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord 
that thy people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hollowed. And that's talking about what? The elect, man. Once again, this is where the real honor and glory lies, man. And being a part of that number. Being a part of that, that number that takes uh, take place in the first dominion with, with the Lord Yahweh Shah. You see? Verse 42 says what? I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people, which I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. Now, who is he talking about? This is talking about the elect. You see? Because we can get it right here. Revelation 7 and, and uh, 4 says what? And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Now these verses give you the rundown, and let you know it's twelve thousand out of each of the twelve tribes of Israel, man. You see? And 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 also, verse nine says what? After this I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and peoples and tongues, stood before the throne. And before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. And this is that great multitude. You see? Those who believed upon Yahweh Shah because of the word that the men of the Lord were speaking. You see that great multitude, man. And what did they do? And cried with a loud, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our power, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. You see, singing the praises. You see? Even and even after they were glorified and brought into that that uh that completely righteous state, what are they doing? They're still praising and uplifting Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. The most high and his only begotten son, man. Even after being changed. So how much more us down here in this in this filthy state that we're in now, man? It's all about uplifting the most high and his son, man. Nothing else. And another one, Revelation 14. And one, it says what? I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him, 140 and 4,000. This is the governing body. The men of the Lord, having his father's name written in their foreheads. You see, and I heard a voice from heaven as a voice of many waters, as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. You hear that? This is what we're trying to enter into as men of the Lord, man. As servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shine, Lord willing, we're part of that number. We're not looking for no cloud on this side, man. We're not looking to be glorified on this side. All we're looking to do is push this word and, and, and in hopes of being found worthy to be taken with Yahweh Shah when he comes, man. You see? <laughs> this is what we're hoping in. You see? So those are the ones who are hollowed. And we want to be a part of that number, man, truly. Verse 42 says, uh, I'll read 42 again. Second Edges 2 and 42. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people, whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with psalms. You see? And in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. You hear that? You see? That's what we want to be when it's all said and done, man. Standing, looking at Yahweh Shai as he places that crown on our heads, man. <laughs> you see? This is what I want, man. I want this. I want to receive my crown directly from the Lord, man. And then, you know... 
he will give me my glory, man. As well as all the other brothers who are laboring for Yahweh Shah's sake, man. But we have a, we have a job to do first. We have to continue to push this work, uh, this word out. The, the, let me say it like this: We have to continue to push this one hundred percent, one hundred percent truth out. You see, into the most I tell us that that's enough, and it has to be the one hundred percent truth. You can't be going off in the doctrine, like the apostle Gabar said, man. It's about you don't even you don't even understand the Cornelius uh, thing, man. You don't even understand the mark of the beast, and and, and here you are celebrating yourself. You have to have the doctrine 100% right, man. No lie is of the truth. And the little leaven, leaven of the whole lump, man. You see? So it says what? 2nd Ezra 2 and 43. And in the midst of them was a young man, which is our Lord Yahweh Shai, of high stature, taller than all the rest. And and upon every one of their heads he said crowns and was exalted and was more exalted you see that Yahweh shot is above us man so what the hell do we look like out here clout chasing trying to be seen in the sight of men and, 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 and uh, trying to receive vain glory man that doesn't that don't make no sense Because our Lord got to get his first, man. Because what the hell did, what, what have we done? You see? The only reason we're here is because of Yahweh Shah. And you trying to jump the line and get your glory before he gets his? That's not how it works, man. If you And you dudes who are in that spirit, man, Yahweh Shah will get rid of your ass. You're, you're going to be destroyed, man. Because you're not in order. You see? So it says what? And upon every one of their heads he said crowns, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. Verse 4 says what? So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? And he answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing, and put on the immortal. So at this point, we've been taken up into the chairs. I say we because I'm hoping to be a part of that number. And Lord willing, I can be a part of that number, you know. So it says what? They have, they have what we have been taken up into the chariot. We, were, hey, through the spirit of power, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh we've been saved from the destruction. We have the new body. We have the law, statutes, and commandments in us. Now we're immortal at this point right here. You see, we're immortal, man. That's that's what we're entering into. Everlasting glory, man. Not some temporal shit here in Babylon the Great. You see, <laughs> it says what? And have confessed the name of the Most High. There, there is a, there's a cut. And have confessed the name of the Most High. Meaning what? You have to have the Most High's true name. And confess it. You see? And stand boldly in it. That's part of the criteria, man. And because we do that through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, what's going to happen? Now are they crowned and receive palms. You hear that? Now are we crowned. After we do it, after we finish our confession, man, we have to continue to confess until the Most High causes the famine of the Word to come in. You see? And we have to endure until the end. And then we will be crowned. That means what? After we do the work, then we will be glorified, man. Then we'll be exalted. Then we can receive our glory. But not beforehand. Says so what? Now are they crowned and receive palms. And palms represents the what? The victory, man. We haven't received the victory yet. We still, hey, we got to go to work no more. <laughs> you see? We're still in captivity. Esau's still ruling over us, man. We're still in Babylon the Great. We ain't in our homeland. We ain't in the land of most I promised unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We're still in the land of the enemy. So we haven't received the palms yet or the crown yet, man. Verse 46 says what? 
Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them, and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High, whom they have confessed in the world. You hear that? So in, in our confession, what are we doing? Uplifting and exalting and glorifying who? The Lord Yahweh Shah. Letting our people know around the clock, Yahweh Shah is the true Lord and Savior, man. He's the one who's going to come and take us from this condition. You see? And doing it in great boldness, man. Verse 47 says what? Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. You see? That's what, this is what it's all about, man. Being saved by Yahweh Shai, then we receive our glory. Being crowned by Yahweh Shai, then we receive our glory, man. You see? But it's about us being what? It's about us being selfless right now, man. We have to be selfless. Understanding, knowing it's not about self. It's about the body, man. For the body to be built up and edified. Not for you to be trying to be uh, uh, the superstar, man. That position is already being filled by the Lord Yahweh Shah. He's the superstar. You see? We are nobody right now, man. Verse 48 says what? Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord power thou hast seen. You see? So this is what's coming in the future. And to wrap it up, we are ended off in Revelation 21. Because Second Edges 2, it shows us what? Being beamed up, receiving the crowns from Yahweh Shai's hand, receiving the palms. But in Revelation 21, what happens? This, you see, this is the it, it, it is what we're fighting for, man. You see, this it, it, is when that glory is going to fully come. So we went up into the chariots. Now, Revelation 21 and 1 says what? And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was no more sea. That new heaven and that new earth is what? It is the Israelites coming down out of that chariot after the crowning ceremony we just read about in Second Edges chapter two. And what's going to happen? The first heaven and the first earth have passed away. Esau's power structure is going to be it has been destroyed, and now we're coming down to establish that righteous kingdom that the Most High has promised us, man. You see, verse John, I, verse John, <laughs> Revelation two and two says what? And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the Most High out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. You see that? Now we're in our glory right here at this point. Now we have been changed and upgraded and brought into our final righteous form, man. To that everlasting, immortal form. You see? New Jerusalem, man. That's when we're going to be glorified. That's when we're going to have that uh, the, the fullness of the honor. You see? Not a moment before. You see? So it goes on to say, verse 3. And I heard a voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men. And he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and the Most High himself shall be with them and be their power. That goes into us being up under the second covenant, like I said earlier. Every time you hear this phrase, the Most High is going to be our power, we're going to be his people. He's alluding to that second covenant that he's going to place us under, man. That everlasting covenant he promised Abraham that he was going to bring us under. Revelation 21, we're already at that point, you see. At this point in time in prophecy right here, as it's written in Revelation 21, we will be in that everlasting covenant. You see? That's the glorified state, man. 
being taken from these decrepit, wicked, sinful bodies and being upgraded. You see? Verse 4 says what? And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death. Look at that. <laughs> Never going to die again, man. You see? Never dying again. That's a part of the glory. Being immortal is a part of the glory. Can you really be out here seeking for glory when, when there's a possibility that you can die at any moment? The most I can take your ass back to the spirit world anytime he sees fit. You see? And why is that? It's because we're not in our glorified state, man. That's why we have to continue to wait upon the Lord and, and do this work, man. So it says, well, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. You hear that? This hasn't happened yet. So we have no reason to be out here seeking for vain glory. Or, to, or try to be seen in the sight of men or, or clout chasing, man. We're still in that wicked, defiled, decrepit flesh. And we haven't been glorified yet, man. You see, we're still out here. Hey, we are the vessels of glorification for the most high in his son. And that's all it is. And when Yahweh Shai finally returns, then we will be upgraded if we're found worthy to partake in that first dominion, man. Verse 5 says what? And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. Meaning what? Everything I have read in this lesson is going to come to pass, man. It's true and faithful. It's going to happen. So understanding that, that should give you a comfort of mind that just wait. I'm going to wait for the Lord. I'm going to wait for the Lord. I'm not going to try to go ahead and do my own thing because I know that reward is coming. I know that this work I'm doing is, is not in vain. Are you dudes even reading these precepts? Are you even reading these things, man? About the most I say that he's going to glorify us, man. We're going to be a, a beautiful, holy, and righteous people in the kingdom of heaven. That's the glory, man. It doesn't happen on this side. Because this is not our rest. Verse 6 says what? And he said, uh, and he said unto me, it is done. I am Alpha and Omega, this is the Lord, the beginning and the end. And I will give unto him that is the thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. And that's what he's doing for us right now. You see, this wisdom not to understand it is, is, is engulfing the planet Earth, man. And we are drinking of it freely. We ain't got to pay for this. Verse 7 says, well, he that overcometh shall inherit all things. You see that? That's the glory, man. Do you have, do you have galaxies in your possessions? Do you have planets in your possessions? No. Why is that? It's because we haven't we haven't in, entered into our glory yet, man. You still out here paying car notes. You are still out here paying rent and mortgages. And you still subject to payment. That's a part of the curse. If you open the curse, what the hell are you trying to be glorified for? We haven't been fully taken up under the curse uh, from under the curses yet, man. When that happens, then we will be entered into our glory. Then we can receive Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14 forevermore. You see? We haven't inherited all things yet, man. So we're not supposed to be looking for no glory on this side, man. We're here to do a job. We're here to labor, man. We're here to work until the job is done. And the job has not been completed yet, man. You see? But once it is, and we overcome through the spirit and power of Yahweh, then we 
we will be fully tied back into the Heavenly Father, man. And that comes with a glory that you can't even explain or comprehend, man. You see? So Revelation 21 and 7. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. You see that? And that's ultimate glory right there, man. That's the true glory. You see? That's the true glory, man. So, yeah. Just wanted to bring it out because inspired by the uh the other apostle, man. All through the spirit. So with that, I'm gonna give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful let I out there, pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has created us to do. And with that, I'm gonna say Shalom. Wow, you know, Bob, a ball.